Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? All right. On behalf of Jazz Lincoln Center, we welcome everyone to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. We're about to hear some great music and embark on a musical journey that's going to make everyone happy. So let's give a Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola welcome to Papo Vasquez, <laughs> Mighty Pirates Troubadours. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. We're extremely uh, honored, and it's a high, it's a high honor, and we're, we're it's a pleasure to be here for you guys tonight. Let me calm down. <laughs> this music is not easy. Uh, we would like to dedicate tonight's uh, performance to uh, Annie Williams, Willie's dear mother, who's no longer here with us. And, uh, and we're very happy to have you here with us tonight, okay? On the piano, Mr. Rick Jemison. On the bass, Mr. Desron Douglas. On the drums, Alvester Garnett. On the percussion, Carlos Maldonado. Mighty Pirate Troubadour, Anthony Carrillo. My right hand man, Mr. Willie Williams, tenor saxophone. Our extra special, special, special invited guest, who was actually, he's actually a mighty pirate, true and true. And you know, he's been my co-producer, and also aside from being that, he's one of the go-to guys, one of the few people that I, that I have, you know, that I have at my disposal, and I'm very fortunate to have a wonderful musician, master musician, Sherman Irby. <laughs> our brother, our brother. So we got a, let me see what we got here. <laughs> I'm not that little young papa no more. Okay, that was uh, the Reverend, that was from, uh, from our, our second CD. Uh oh, there goes Willie. I think he forgot his glasses too. <laughs> and uh, we shall be performing for you tonight also some of the new music from our next CD, which is titled uh, Spirit Warrior, which also, also Sherman Irby, is a, he's an invited guest on that and is my co-producer with that amongst all these marvelous musicians alongside uh, the we have a maraca on flute played on, on a composition of that. So the next composition is called Mbumbo con Bamba. It's from uh, the new CD, which will be out in March, at the beginning of March, okay? And the first composition was called El Reverendo. That was a neo Latin jazz mambo. That's what that's what I like. That's, that's what I kind of call it. Now we're gonna play for you una plena, una plena pirata.
Muchas gracias. Matter of fact, let me, let me send a little, little shout out to all my people out in the islands. Or, uh, thank you, Lina. It's my wife, Adelina. Un saludito a toda mi gente allá en Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Panamá, en toda Latinoamérica, ¿ok? Ya tú sabes, estás ahí. Pórtese bien y no tome mucho. Esto no tiene no ni nada. Esto es jugo de china con este. Este. Salsa water.
Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's uh, that's entitled uh, the little people. That's uh, like I composed it. and I said, you know, that sounds like a children's song. Nice. No harmonies. No nothing. Spend the money solo and get out. Don't get too crazy. <coughs> now we're gonna play for you. Uh, so I guess we did we did a little mambo in homage to our brothers in Cuba. We did a little plena to my people in Puerto Rico. We did a danza that was a Puerto Rican indigenous art form mixed with a little jazz. Now we're gonna play for you a little merengue, all right? And this is titled, uh, this is from my, from my previous CD, entitled The Oasis. This is called, by the way, all the music that you'll be hearing tonight, they're all uh, original compositions by yours truly. Arranged also. I used, to have a, uh, I used to have a neighbor of mine, his name was uh, David, David Abreu. David, so he was from the town. Uh, he used to make me laugh all the time, you know. He said, no, okay, yo, yo soy de, I'm saying in Spanish, because it sounds funny. But you, hey, David, so what, what, what town were you from in, in Santo Domingo? Oh, yo era de San Juan de la Maguana. I said, San Juan de la Maguana, wow. That sounds very heavy. So like, <laughs> I, exactly, I haven't been there yet, but I said, you know, one of these days I want to compose something called San Juan de la Maguana. This to my people from Santo Domingo, okay? <laughs> and it's uh, a Puerto Rican attempt at playing a merengue, Pam Chao.
Yeah, yeah, our, our, our uh, Afro-Caribbean rhythms are like, huh, they're pretty hot. Come on now. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> when is somebody going to get up and dance? I know we're a jazz at Lincoln Center, quote unquote, but come on now. We're a jungle band now. You know, you got to get up and... Dame, la de quieto, ajá, ahí, te estoy escuchando, la de quieto.
Good Jefferson. The name of that composition, which shall be on our next CD, Spirit Warrior, is entitled No Goodbyes for You. Requiem for Hilton Ruiz, who was my very good friend and one of my one of my heroes. He was my very good friend. You and Hilton have the same birthday? Go figure. <laughs> you know, I, I composed this and then I couldn't play it, so. I composed that composition for a very good friend of mine. Who got, he got, got killed in New Orleans. <laughs> I, so I couldn't play it for a while, for about two or three years. Then I decided to record it, but I said, I'm not gonna play it anyway. I'm not gonna play it, period. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We said, Rick, can you play it as a piano solo on the, on the new recording? Him and Hilton share the same birthday. There are no coincidences in life.
the Mighty Pirate Troubadours, Papo Vasquez. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming into Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. Just a quick look ahead. We have Carlos Enriquez coming in tomorrow and playing through Sunday. We have so many wonderful artists performing here at Dizzy's in the Rose Theater across the hall in the Appel Room. You can go to our website at jazz.org and see who's performing here at Jazz Lincoln Center. Thank you again for coming to Dizzy's. Hopefully we'll see you all very soon. Joan, you know we miss you. It's nice not the same without you being here. You know you've been with us from the very, very beginning. We want to make this film for you to have something to check out. Hey, Joan, this is Walter Blandy. Love you very much. The most memorable thing about you is your bun. The bun in your head is so cute that when you got your hair up in a bun, I miss your smile. You always have such a beautiful spirit. This is Sherman. Now, you know it's not right, me looking out in the audience look out there and not see you out there. Your smiling face, looking up, you know, with that look of expectation, say, y'all gonna make me swing today, right? This is Carlos. How you doing, John? Um, I just want to say uh, you're special to us, to me. Uh, I miss seeing you up there. Those seats will never be ever refilled. You know that. I hope everything's well. I hope we get to see you soon. We love you. This is Victor. I hope you're doing well. It's been a little while now, but you're always in our hearts over here at Jazz and Lincoln Center. Plainly put, Joan is jazz and jazz is Joan. We appreciate your participation in this experiment that we started with that has become Jazz at Lincoln Center. And we're gonna come up there and visit you and vibe with you and play some of that good music with you and make you laugh and have a good time. Uh, much love and respect always. Thank you. I heard jazz around me when I was a kid, you know, a little kitty. It just came to me as part of uh, the world. Joan's one of those people that made it like playing for your family when you saw her out in the front audience. When you played and she was there, it put you on a, a vibe. Joan, you've been with us from the very, very beginning. And you always bring soul and feeling, always so warm to everybody. And we're gonna come up there and visit you and vibe with you. Hi, Rose. This is Joan, yeah, Joan. Please come in. I'm so last Hi, pleasure nice to, meet to meet you. Of course, we have a little jazz playing because, you know, that's part of what we do. I'm gonna give you this one. You like this? Yeah, that's great. The Jazz Orchestra came into Bennington, Vermont, where we lived, which is a little town. So I went. I was in heaven. When they came into the city, well, because I went so early, I was in the front row. So when they came on the stage, they were right there. And I was the first customer they had. When you were as close to, the, to them when they were playing, you can feel that vibration. Joan, since you've been coming to Jazz at Lincoln Center for all these years, we wanted to bring the music to you. And this iPad is a gift from us to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Those seats will never be ever refilled. You know that. Hey, Joan, this is Walter Blandy. <laughs> Love you very much. The most memorable thing about you is the bun of your head. It's so cute. And you give a lot of warmth with your energy and your smile. And it was always so nice to see you. We appreciate your participation in this experiment that we started with that has become Jazz at Lincoln Center. We have you with us wherever you are. You always have a seat. Oh. You always have a seat in my heart. You can watch our live webcasts anywhere you are. Two people get a Look piece of this. tonight. We'll have a good old time with that. Music brings you to many places. It can give you a great deal of pleasure. 
there is only one jazz at Lincoln Center, and I don't know how to express it in any other way. I was home when I was there, that's all. Jazz is a freedom of the spirit. It's the best way that I have to express what I'm feeling at the moment. A world of freedom, a world of many solutions. When you walk out your door in New York or whatever city you live in, that's jazz. You see life, you see energy, and to me that's what jazz is. We can make a difference through the things that we're connected by. And music is a connection. The orchestra went to Cuba for nine days in October 2010. There's only been three successful organized trips of music uh, on this large scale that has been in Cuba from the United States. It takes a lot to be able to make it happen. To get through the paperwork, just to be able to go, takes months small things. For example, we brought 100 light bulbs because getting a light bulb is, is a problem. We brought uh, the platforms. We brought the, the Marley. But there's no Kinkos to get things copied. So every time they do a show, they have to do everything by hand. So just even putting this in front of the theater, there's like two or three of them. We did this by hand. Most of the infrastructure has been made before 1959. So a lot of things need repair. We came up with a theater that worked great there called the Melia Theater that seats between 1,300 and 1,500 and it was a collaborative effort from many organizations in Cuba. We changed that theater from something that looked dingy into something that what it could be. Citizens that do not have the access to the internet, television, things that are usually banned or hard to get, they were very up to date about who musicians were. All over Havana, there was a buzz that we were there. Word of mouth spreads in a city that's two million people. We could have filled a theater that was 3,000 people. The first day there was lines of people trying to get in. It was, it was it's just a mob scene because the people wanted to have the tickets. It was that hot. It's probably the best crowd I've ever witnessed in my life. It was something important to them and they had a lot of passion for what we were doing. And when you listen to the shows, you can hear it in the music from the band, how they played, they could feel it. The Cubic Tour consisted of five dates that was at the Melia Theater. Also, we worked with four different schools. We went to the arts school that's uh, made up uh, from kids from 10 to 18 years old. They did a special program for us. It was not a dry eye in the house. That's the best way I see when you look at the exhibit. It's all about the children and the exchange that we have with them, what the uh, patrons gonna get from this exhibit. They can find out that Jazz and Lincoln Center, we're about making change through our music. In this world, we have so many differences. Everyone has such a difference. But the realization is that the music can bring people together. And that's something that we can offer anyone around the world. The sound of a major and a minor sounding together is the blues. Western music, we have major modes like I always thought the major is happy and minor is sad, so... Now the blues puts both of them together. Blues is a deep form, you know, 12 months of the year, 12 measures in the blues. Three act play, three sections of the blues. Three fundamental harmonies of Western music. One, four, five, one. That's the blues. Amen cadence in Western music. Amen. 
I could go on and on. So blues is a profound form. There's a story told of a little Japanese sitting demurely neath a cherry blossom tree. Miss Butterflies, her name. A sweet little innocent child was she, till a fine young American from the sea to her God. They met beneath the cherry blossoms every day and he taught her how to love the American way to love with her heart was easy to learn then he sailed away with a promise to return poor butterfly neath the blossoms waiting poor butterfly for she loves him so the moments passed into hours the hours passed into years and while she smiles through her tears she murmurs low the 